Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. This is The Route to Victory Road, a podcast that chronicles our journeys through the main series titles of the Pokemon franchise. I'm your host, Pokemon Professor Mackenzie. I'm joined today, as always, by my wonderful partner and co-host, Jay Lee. Hello, I'm Jay Lee, the Pokemon student, amateur, sure. Padawan. The trainer. <laughs> sure. You're the trainer leaving Pallet Town today. That's what we did. We did. So we are a podcast. We're going to be talking about our journey through Pokemon. As I said in the intro, um, today we started with Pokemon Red and Blue. We did. I am playing Red version. I'm playing Blue. We're just two people in our 30s playing through Pokemon. Why not? I love it. You know, you, you haven't played Pokemon since... Uh, the 90s. Since the 90s. Or yep. or maybe the early 2000s, mm-hmm. depending on when you no, played last. No, it was late 90s. Okay. Oh. And and me, I've been playing Pokemon since the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're we're going to... I, I'm kind of like showing you the series, and I think that that's wonderful. I'm going to butcher this, and you're going to be very mad at everything that... I'm not going to be mad at anything... All the mispronunciations and everything I say. You know, you know what a mistake is. It's an opportunity to learn. <laughs> oh boy! The more you know. I'm gonna be learning so much. Okay, so um, we experienced issues at the start, and <laughs> <laughs> that it was almost impossible for us to get the games even working, which is too bad. We're we're playing on a virtual console on our 3ds's. Um. But Nintendo doesn't like it when you have one account on multiple DSs. So since I owned all the games, I thought that it would be like a piece of cake for you to just join me and play on my blue version while I played on red version. But we wanted to do things like trade and things like that, so I needed it to be on separate DSs. But I didn't think it was going to be an issue because I didn't know that you couldn't have the same account on multiple DSs. Yeah, they didn't like that too much. So that was our first... (laughs) That was our first obstacle. Was it took we, us several days to actually get this yeah, get this going. We we needed to make you an account. We needed to get money on that account, which <laughs> is also another thing because because you can't add funds to a 3DS account. You can only add it to your Nintendo account, which oh my gosh. What did you say about mistakes? There we go. Yeah. This is our first learning curve. It was it was so so long, but oh, we got them working. We got blue for Jaylee. We got red for myself. Which is kind of cool, because when I was younger, I played the red version. I have never played blue. And I've played them both. I, I also started <laughs> with course. red. Well, I, I started with red when I was a kid, and, and I actually didn't have blue until I was an adult. I got blue when I was like 19 or 20 or something like that. Um, but I've played almost every generation, but not every version. So I think maybe as, as we continue along... Um, through the other generations I'll I'll take the version that I haven't played and then you can play the other version because that will be the version you haven't played because you haven't played any of them. Deal. <laughs> yep. That works out for me. <laughs> that works. All right. Um, so reading through my notes here, that was day one was <laughs> all the issues trying to, to get all that working. Day two, we got it working and we begin our adventure. So let's talk about our characters. Um, what did you pick for a name for your your character in Pokemon Blue? Oh, I went pretty boring. I just named him Jay. Jay? Because why not? Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, my enemy, however. Yes. What was his name again? I'm kidding. That's funny. I named my em- enemy Kermy. Kermy. <laughs> Shout out to my <laughs> real life best friend in the world, Kermy. Um, Kermy and I have yeah already been <laughs> <laughs> we're we're at each other's throats in this game yeah in the game yeah yeah we're good friends in real life so thanks Kermy, for the inspiration <laughs> and um what what did uh what did jay start with Ooh, okay my starter pokemon this might be a surprise to you um mac and i we have been playing the game side by side but not looking at each other's screens with headphones on and keeping everything private and secrets so we're gonna spill all the secrets my starter pokemon was a squirtle squirtle and i have never played squirrel before because i thought he was just a little bit like boring sure charmander was always my favorite 
and I always picked Charmander. That was the first Pokemon I would ever pick for anything. So I wanted to be a little bit different. And yeah, I picked Squirtle. And can you guess what I named him? Bubbles. No. Oh. I named him Gucci. Gucci? I thought you would have guessed that. What? My other real life bestest best friend. Yeah, what? Well, bestest I, best fur baby. You could have got a Rattata named it Gucci. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, but Squirtle's for life. So. <laughs> yeah, but Rattata looks more like Gucci, yeah, in my <laughs> opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but Rattata's a little bit ugly and you know how shallow <gasps> I am with Pokemon so you think Rattata's ugly Shh, it's okay the truth okay. comes out it's okay okay well my character's name is Cam C-A-M oh because it's Mac backwards I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> not a K-C-A-M but and the reason <laughs> why it's Mac backwards is because I have given myself the challenge of Picking Pokemon to play through this generation that I never use when playing through this generation of games. I like that. That might be a little bit of an advantage for me. It could Probably be. Probably not. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be playing with Pokemon that I, I never use. So that means that I have outlawed the use. Uh, I'm still going to catch them, probably. Uh, in fact, I am because I already have caught one of them. Uh, but I'm still going to try and catch the ones that I, I normally use. But I'm not going to use them for like the gym battles or the Elite Four or anything like that. For this whole game? or For the whole game. Forward? Okay, yep. I'm going to hold you to this. Um, so that's Pokemon like Raichu and Gyarados. Yeah, let's get a um, list right now because then I can well, call I, I you out if you actually... Well, I don't have a whole list. I don't have a whole list. If you end can... up using any of these on your team, I'm calling you out so hard. <laughs> I can try and make. Uh, I can try and list them. Uh, so it. it would be Venusaur, is is my usual starter. Is Bulbasaur, um, Gyarados, Pikachu. Uh, I usually use um, Victory Bell, uh, but that's not going to be an issue for me because I don't get Bell Sprout in my game. I'd have to get you to trade me one, I'm which taking, I will get. Hmm? I'm taking notes on how to build a good team now from oh, you. <laughs> I, I, I will I will get you to send me a Bell Sprout, but I'm not going to use Victory Bell in my team, my final team. Um, and I'll send you an Oddish for the Bell Sprout. Okay. We'll trade. Sure. Because uh, you don't get Oddish in, in your game. <gasps> I get Oddish in mine. Is Oddish cute? Oddish is cute. Oh. Oddish is very cute. Okay. Um, and then Oddish evolves twice, just like, just like Bell Sprout does. Bell Sprout evolves twice into the... Hideous plant, Victory <gasps> Bell. <laughs> oh, I don't want it. But very powerful. Ugh, very powerful, but hideous. Uh, and then Oddish evolves into the equally cute Vile Plume. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. But so, but that that's further down the road. Uh, another <laughs> Pokemon I cannot use is I cannot use um, Vaporeon. Deal. Okay. Uh, and I can't use. What else is a big one that I use all the time? So no Raichu, no Gyarados, no Venusaur, no Vaporeon, no Victory Bell. Um, I won't be able to use... Uh, oh, doi. Um, Alakazam, which is the evolved form of Abra. What? Yeah, it's a psychic Pokemon. And I, I like to use it because you catch it early and it's very useful very quickly because there's like lots of like fighting types and, and poison types that you can use it against in this generation. But um, so I won't be catching. Oh, no, I will catch Abra, <laughs> but I won't be using Alakazam. OK, OK. Um, anyway, yeah. So that's why it's Cam. And then uh, my rival's name is um, Badman. Badman. <laughs> His name is Badman. Wow. And that is inspired by a shirt that um, Vegeta wears in, in oh Dragon Ball when he's not wearing his Saiyan armor. Uh, <laughs> he's got a pink <laughs> shirt and on the bad <laughs> like back does. it says Badman. And <laughs> I love it. Okay, that's cute. And I want that shirt in real life. Um, but, but that is why I named my rival Badman. I like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, I chose Charmander because out of all the times that I've ever played Red and Blue, I have never chosen Charmander as my starter. I always choose Bulbasaur. Ever? And the very first time I played, I chose Squirtle. I'm so offended. He's the I've only one I've ever chosen. Not ever. I, I, I have used him in the remakes, Fire Red and Leaf Green. 
um, but I've never used him in the first generation ever. So this is a new experience wow. for me. And also, uh, we'll get to it, but it, it also led to a decision that I made this week. What did you name him? Uh, my Charmander? Yeah. Uh, my Charmander's name is Cinder Ace. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the name of another Pokemon. We were just talking about this earlier. Yes, yeah. we were. Okay. Uh, also, I think that's a little cheating, but... Uh, point of fact, I also nicknamed my part my, my rival's Pokemon, even though you can't actually Wait, do that. Oh. Okay, I, I you I have, it in your I head. have done it canonic head canon. Uh, his, his Squirtle's name is Schmeet. <laughs> Schmeet. Yeah, Schmeet. Very nice. Yeah. So he's Schmeet the Squirtle. <laughs> and Cinderace the Charmander. Okay. So that is how we started our journey. Professor Oak pulls us aside and says, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. No. Oh, is that not, is oh. that not what he says? Oh, you're funny. <laughs> oh, you're funny. You're going to go through this like line by line. <laughs> I'm playing the game again. <laughs> I'm putting on my Zelda. <laughs> so what what happened... Uh, how how did you start your journey? How was it? It was it was very nostalgic for yeah. me. Yeah, as soon as I turned on the game, again, having a Game Boy in my hand, or a 3DS, I guess. I have never owned one, and it was weird kind of just being like, okay, you know me trying to learn new controls and learn new games. It takes me a while, but oh yeah, it was so cute just listening to the music and just walking along and picking my first Pokemon all over again. It was so cute and so much fun. And what do you think of Kermy battling you, ch- challenging you challenging immediately? Challenging me right away. I mean, it's very Kermy like. Of course, you'd want to test out the Pokemon, but yeah, she didn't get very far. No, Bulbasaur. You you beat Bulbasaur. Yes. Yeah. Almost like instantaneously. Oh yeah. So yeah. Your so Squirtle is nice and tough. Yeah, Gucci is pretty strong. She was a little bit anxious, but she's strong. <laughs> she's she's a good Gucci. She's a fighter. Yeah. But remind me to tell you about my battle with Kermie later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. So we, we head out on Route 1, and um, you run into any Pokemon there that Gucci had to beat up? Tons? You yeah, can't catch them. A few. I mean, you can't catch them. Yeah. I, I, for some reason in Pokemon games, they do this. You, you leave your initial town, and they don't give you Pokeballs to I didn't start. remember that. Yeah, it took me a while to be like, okay, how do I get my Pokeballs out? Which I couldn't ask you because we are trying to do this without Max help. Um, you are allowed to I ask, know, but, but my ego, to, I my ego is telling me not to. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just letting everyone know out there that, that you are allowed to ask <laughs> me for help. But. Yeah, no. Yeah, I totally forgot that you didn't start out with Pokeballs, so that was kind of annoying because I just wanted to catch all the ones, except they weren't... They were all like like Rattatas and like ugly little things that I didn't really want to catch anyway. Yeah, so Pidgey and Rattata are what you mostly run into yeah. on Route 1, yeah. Cool. So we get to Viridian City. And uh, did you have any troubles getting... Like when you got to the city, do you remember... Did you go straight to the Pokemon Mart? Or did you like? Did you know what you had to do, or did you look around town first? Um, I walked into every house and talked to every person, which was kind of boring. And I remembered that, yeah, just talking to random people is boring, and they try to just <laughs> brag about their life with Pokemon and how they're all like amazing people, and Pokemon are so amazing. I was like, oh yeah, okay. So I went to the Pokemon Mart. I got some Pokeballs. I was really excited about and I forgot all about like money and buying things in this game so I bought like potions and stuff and I was like I need all this stuff and I spent all my money I was like oh never mind I didn't need to do this did you talk to the the mart um employee who is standing on route one there's a mart employee and he gives you a potion for oh yeah he gives me a free potion Yeah. yeah okay good yeah I got the free potion did you remember to check the computer in your room to get the free potion out of there? No, how am I supposed to know that? You didn't know? That's okay. You can actually still receive it when you go to the Pokemon Center, that computer in the corner. There will be one that's called your PC. <laughs> Reaching for your Turning 3DS. Turning on the DS uh, now. So there, there is a, uh, the, the PC in the Pokemon Center will, will have a your computer, or your PC, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. You, you can log in there to retrieve your potion out of there. Okay. So there's another free potion for cool. you. Cool. But now I'm broke, wandering, wandering around the city and needing to make some money. So, have a good time. 
Um, so we grabbed the mysterious parcel. We returned it to Oak. It turned out to be Pokedexes. And now our journey starts in earnest. We head back to Viridian City. This throws a wrench in my Pokemon plans because I was planning to only catch the cute ones. And now for Professor Oak, I have to catch them. Catch them all. And I really don't <laughs> want to do that because some of them are not really cute and kind of useless. No, like you were saying, you think that Rattata is not cute, hey? It's the teeth for me. Yeah? Yeah. Same as, yeah, never mind. Fair but. enough. Yep. What about, what about Pidgey? Did you catch a Pidgey? I caught a Pidgey. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to tell you levels or names yet. Yeah, but no, I do okay. have a Pidgey. Okay. I don't know. I th oh, because going yeah. back to my battle with Kermy, where was that? Route, route 22. Yeah. So it's it's to the it's to the west of Viridian City. We're not there yet, so I shouldn't talk about this yet. But I went there first because I didn't know what was down that way, and I'm a rebel and didn't want to stick to a path. So I was like, I'm going to try going this way. And Kermi called me out, and she's like, You're not going to get anywhere because you have no badges. And I was like, Oh yeah, try me. Okay, yeah. And how did that battle go? Oh no, Kermi kicked my butt. Oh really? She had she had a Pidgey. Yeah. I didn't have a Pidgey, and I was her Pidgey was like level four or five. It was, was level 10. Was level it? 10 Pidgey, yep. No, mine wasn't. No, no, but Kermie's would have been no, level No, 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 like, hmm, really? Yep, level 10 I don't Pidgey, remember seeing level 10. 8 Bulbasaur. Yeah, that's how high, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's why she she beat me and bragged about it forever, and now she's haunting me. So. I, I'm interested. So you didn't beat. No, Kermie, she so. she beat me the first time. Then I ran away and I tried to level up my Pokemon and get my revenge. Okay, so you were able to go back and, and yeah. face Kermie again? Yeah, okay. I leveled up Gucci and I leveled up a couple more and then, yeah. You were able to, I beat, her. to beat. Okay, that's awesome. But I didn't continue going that way. Okay. Did you catch anything along that route, though? There were things in the grass over there. I have. I think I caught the two. So here are things that I'm going to butcher and you're going to correct me on is it needle ran that's right. Nidoran? Yep, Nidoran. Nidoran. okay yep. i caught one of those and then the uh, the male female the other yep. one needle ran and needle ran they're they're both needle ran what yeah one's needle ran male one's needle ran female oh that's why i couldn't okay okay i caught one of each okay and yeah they're really cute so mm -hmm. i kept them um, do you want me to tell you my Pokemon? Um, Not yet. Okay. So I caught a couple of those, and then I caught another bird. <laughs> I got to tell you the names of my birds, though. Yeah. Okay. So I you want to you want to tell them now? I think so. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to go through all of my Pokemon, or just go through? No, we can we so can do that later when we get to to Pewter City. Okay. You can you can help me on this too because I have two birds. Okay. I have a Pidgey. Yeah. Um, whose name is Floofy. Fluffy, the Pidgey. And okay. then I have another one, another bird. It's not a Pidgey. Its name is Fluffy, and I don't remember what it is. Fluffy the Spiro. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. I knew it. See? So oh, Fluffy so and good. Fluffy? Fluffy and Fluffy, yeah. And I named them like that thinking, oh, it'll tell me what Pokemon they are. But no, it just tells me their names. It doesn't tell me what it is, so I'm never going to remember. But yeah, okay, it's a Spiro. I just put other bird on my notes because I couldn't <laughs> other remember. Bird. Other bird. Because I know Pidgey is the important bird. His name is Cherry Dude. Cherry Dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. Well, I also ran into Badman on Route 22, mm -hmm. and I was able to... I had a level 10 Charmander by then, <gasps> so I, I actually took him out oh, quite no. easily. Uh, even with his bubble, Charmander still just scratched him to death. Nice. It, was, it was easy. To be fair, you knew it was coming. Uh, I, I forgot what levels his Pokemon were, but I did know that he was there trying to fight me. That's <laughs> correct, yeah. Okay. Um, also, by that point, I'd already caught most of my team that I went to Brock with. I'm scared to hear what your levels are at because my Pokemon are... Oh, they're, they're not going to be that high. I, I spent a lot of time leveling up two specific Pokemon. I remember I was on my way to the gym <clears> and you were like, nope, I'm leveling up. And yeah. Like, oh, well, I made mistakes and we'll, here. And we'll get to that. We'll get to that, but... It, Let's just say that it was an idea I had that I was wrong about, so it's fine. <laughs> so, uh, um, oh no. Yes. Uh, so I caught a Weedle, a Nidoran male, and a Spiro, and then okay. I fought 
against um I fought against Badman and took him out with my all my Pokemon. They om- he almost wiped them all out. Really? Yeah. Like my Charmander was left like half health, but mm-hmm. all the rest of my Pokemon were nearly dead because his Pidgey and his Squirtle just did that big of a number on all my Pokemon. Yeah. Um Oh no, sorry, I did have Nidoran female by then. I, I thought I was still looking for her by the time I went to Badman, but no, I did catch both Nidos as well, <laughs> and I had a Spearow uh, and a Weedle, um, which you you've Ew. seen, right? The the little worms with yeah, the I've pointy seen heads. Weedles. I am not catching one of those. <laughs> sorry, Oak. After that, there's not really anything to do down that path. Uh, I think there's a hidden item, maybe like another potion or something like that. But other than that, there's nothing really in that area for us. I didn't see any hidden items. Well, hidden items I are hidden. I just ran away. You can't see them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran away. Um, and then we head up to Viridian Forest. Anything yep. of note happened there? I remember you exclaimed about the amount of oh, bug yeah. catchers. Yeah. Yeah, so that That's was bug, quite humorous. Bug catchers come from. Yeah, I learned all about bug catchers and bugs. I met a lot of bugs in there. Um, yeah. But I was really excited because I caught a Pikachu. Yes, you, you were very excited. <laughs> I knew exactly what had I happened made loud because of how noises. <laughs> excited you were about yeah. that. That was really funny. You 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 met that Pikachu early too. Yeah, that's you, why I was I was surprised at why it very, was there so early. It was the first thing that I saw in the forest. Very low capture or very low low encounter rate. Sorry, very low encounter rate for Pikachu in this generation. So it's it's awesome that you were able to find one. So you found one before I even entered the forest. That's how early you found one. Yeah, I think I was jumping ahead. I was kind of like, I think I got a little competitive because I was trying to get to the gym before you did. I don't and know you why. Did. <laughs> you, I, I did. You did get to the gym before I did. I did, but then You got I, through the forest. I, I was just entering the forest <laughs> when you were exiting it. But as, so. <laughs> as per our deal, I had to turn off my DS and stop playing after that. And then I just kind of sat watching, not watching you play, but kind of just waiting, waiting around being like okay he's still playing this isn't fair i want to play so i shot myself in the foot there but anyway <laughs> yeah, yeah our, so our deal is we, we play until after the gym uh so we we beat the gym get the badge we go to the pokemon center heal save quit yeah that is that is what we that is all we are allowed to do after the gym is beaten but leading up to the gym we're allowed to grind all we want uh, I would say up to maybe a certain point because otherwise <laughs> we could just sit there and play all You're going to be and, at level 100 and yeah. I'm still down at like so under level 10. I, w- I would say probably we try and shoot for like within three levels of the gym leader. Okay. So like we'll talk about Misty's yeah, okay. levels. Uh, so we'll, we'll try... We'll, we'll try not to exceed three levels. It, sometimes it'll happen just because you you have like a favorite Pokemon to use during a section or sure. something like that. But we'll try not to out level the gym leaders by by more than three levels. I think that's fair. Okay. Um, nothing of note happened for me in the forest uh, other than Sparta, my Spearow, um, was able to catch up to Charmander uh, just because I used Sparta exclusively through the catching the bugs and everything like that um and i was able to uh find a pikachu in the final four squares like oh, did if you? you if you picture the path as yeah. as blocks of four squares i found him in the final four squares <laughs> of grass leading out of the forest i just ran into it and i was like oh sure i'll catch you so i caught sparky the pikachu is what i called him sparky that's original mm-hmm. yeah mine's name is zeus and um <laughs> i i leveled him up a bunch in the grass just oh, outside no. pewter uh on route two it's called and uh, I, I was killing pidgeys and ratatas with with uh, pikachu but then i decided you know what? I'm not going to use Pikachu against Brock anyway because not only have I made it so that like I've made this deal with myself so that I don't, but also I can't because Pikachu doesn't learn in anything non-electric <laughs> for a long time. So I decided to box Pikachu. <gasps> yeah. How dare you? And I went back to the forest where I spent I think nearly an hour <laughs> yeah. looking for a Caterpie. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't tell you. 
before I caught Pikachu, I caught a Caterpie. Right. Like, yes, first you did. Thing. You did tell me that you caught a Caterpie, but just to rub. Oh, I see. You bit. didn't. You didn't say it on the podcast. No, I, I will. You. I'll name all my Pika or all my Pokemon and their levels, and they're cute. Yeah. Obnoxious names. You have obnoxious names for all of them. I, I can't oh, wait yeah. to hear them. But um, so yes, I did catch a, a butter or a, rather a, a Caterpie, um, because I knew I was going to need all the help I could get against Brock. Or at least that's what I thought. And um, <laughs> so that's why I spent so much time leveling Why you were waiting for so long after you beat Brock. You were waiting for me to do my I did leveling. ask you what you were doing. You, say, you said you were leveling them up and I was yeah. already finished the gym. So I was, was getting a little nervous. Yes. So but my Pokemon are all low. That is because I uh, knew that Charmander was not going to be any help against the Rock Gym. I thought that it was going to be much harder than it was but let's take a little bit of a break okay. and then we'll come back and we'll talk about um how the gym was for us all right see you guys on the other side of this break and we're back from break <laughs> hello so yeah we were talking about going to face brock so tell me about your experience fighting the rock gym on my way to the gym, you mentioned that you were leveling up your Pokemon because you didn't think you had anything that would last against Brock. So I got a little scared and I walked back. I, I turned around immediately and I was like, oh, maybe I should level up my Pokemon. And I know nothing about Pokemon, so I don't know what's going to be Rock type. So I maybe did a little bit of research and picking your brain. And then you were complaining about not finding a Caterpie. And I had one, so I thought if I just level this thing up and fight forever until he evolved, then I might have a chance. Which, I spent a lot of time doing that. Too much time. Oh my gosh, it took forever to fight with this little Caterpie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I kept, like, he kept dying. He kept fainting with everything, because, I don't know. And then he evolved into this ugly... Metapod. Metapod. And I kept running into Metapod, and all they would do was harden, so I thought it was useless. Um, so when it evolved into Metapod, I got a little scared, but you told me that they keep their moves and everything, so it was fine. And Metapod, my Metapod was actually pretty strong, and I was pretty proud of that little guy. Um, and then finally, after probably an hour of just fighting with this stupid little Metapod Caterpie thing, evolved into Butterfree and then I was like okay I have a little bit of confidence because my Squirtle was pretty high level and they had butter Butterfree so I went to beat Brock I went around the first guy I kind of went behind because something clicked in my brain when I entered the gym and I was like oh I can walk behind this guy maybe he won't he won't like stop me if I walk behind him and I never got stopped by him mm -hmm. so I was like oh okay I'm gonna go straight to Brock because I kind of remember going in front of him, this was years ago, and then having to fight him first and then Brock. That's right. Is that how it works? Yep. Okay, okay, good. So I went around him, and I went straight to Brock. And he wasn't too hard. My Squirtle and my Butterfree beat up his little, <laughs> hold on, rock thing with biceps and yep. arms. I will remember the name one day. So he's... He's got... Kind of biceps a... and arms. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Geo dude. Dude. Yeah. He's <laughs> cherry, cherry dude. dude. He's cherry dude now. Yes. Um he didn't take long. I think I ended up going through my butterfree. Um He I'm trying to remember. He didn't really take out my butterfree, but between him and Onyx, my butterfree all or just fainted. And then Squirtle finished Onyx with, like, a move. So it was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty easy. But then, after the gym, I was like, oh, no. I'm done. I had to go heal my Pokemon and turn off my DS, which was super sad because you were still playing and I wanted to just level up and keep playing. But as per our deal, I turned it off. Maybe we'll amend our deal so that you can continue playing as long as I'm playing. Oh. We'll, we'll, like we'll, we'll, talk, about, we'll <laughs> talk about it. Yeah, how was the gym for you? It was um, very easy. <laughs> so before the gym, like I said, I have Charmander. So I was worried that I was not going to do well against Geodude and Onyx. Because I was 
worried that they were going to just resist everything I did and they were just going to steamroll me. Um, so I overcompensated and I went and for an hour found a, a Caterpie. And then for the next hour, I spent time leveling both Caterpie and Weedle up until they were both bee drill and butterfree. Weedle is bee drill. Weedle will eventually evolve into bee drill. And then butter? Oh, and okay, because you have the Caterpie. Caterpie. Right, yeah. yeah, I have that. Yeah. So I went in to Brock with two third level Pokemon, bee drill and butterfree. And uh, I, I actually took on the junior trainer, which is what his name is. Uh, I think in the remakes, his name is Camper Ethan. <laughs> but in in this uh, instance, he is just called Junior Trainer because they don't have names yet. Um, and uh, I took him out. He was really easy. He had a Diglett and something else. I don't remember. Um, but he tells you that you're 10,000 light years from facing Brock which is a measure of distance, not time. So that's funny. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah, I fought Brock, and I didn't even switch Pokemon. I, I had one Pokemon out, and it, it swept his team. Nice. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, that was easy, and I feel like a fool now. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready for the next part, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be ready for the next part, exactly. Okay, uh, so let's do our Pokemon Center check-in, where we talk about our Pokemon team and the name or the names the levels the levels of the pokemon but also the names i suppose because that's part of the team am i going first sure yeah, okay if you want to okay so you already know some of the names but my squirtle is gucci she i ended with her at level 14 oh yeah which is nice. not not super high but i had to stop playing it's higher than any of mine <gasps> Really? Oh, yep. you scared me. I was so scared that you were already at like level 20 and nope. kicking my butt. Okay. Um, my Pikachu is named Zeus. He is a level 8. Okay. You know, pretty good, but not good. Uh, my Caterpie Metapod Butterfree. <laughs> yeah. Which is a Butterfree now. His name is Bud. Bud. Yeah. That's cute. Bud the Butterfree. Yeah. He's a level 10. He's pretty, he's pretty oh, okay. buff. Yeah. All right. My one bird, hold on, which one? Pidgey, so Floofy mm -hmm. is level seven. And then Fluffy, the other bird, uh, Spiro. I didn't even write down his level because he was just so useless to me. Oh, I just no. caught him and I was like, oh, this is the other bird that I can't remember what you are. I think he's probably a level five or whatever I caught him. Okay. Caught him at. We're just going to say level five. I'll check that later. You should go, you should take him and, and go kill some Kakuna because he's got Peck, which is a flying move where. Pidgey, Floofy, has Gust, which is, in this generation, it's a normal move, not a flying move. Noted. I will switch out my birds. All right. But Fluffy's still going to be known as Other Bird, because yeah. my memory is terrible. Um, one of my Nidos, yeah. Nidoran, mm -hmm. is named Bun Bun. Okay. He's only a level four, because he's just there for aesthetics. He's cute. <laughs> and the Nido, Nidoran, Nidoran yep. female yep. is named Buttercup. Bun because bun bun, that's adorable. Because, yep. see, I was starting to name all my Pokemon after like my childhood pets, and then I got really Ooh. sad doing that. That's so so Buttercup was my very first bunny when I was four years old. Yeah, yeah, so it was my bunny. But then I got really sad because I remember how Buttercup died, and I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't name these after my childhood pets anymore. <laughs> so I stopped. <laughs> and then that's it for my Pokemon. That's all I have. You haven't caught anything else yet. No. Oh. Okay. Because I was a little bit shallow in what i wanted to catch that's okay um so my pokemon uh first off we have the queen who is my nidoran female cute okay she's level 10 nice i have the king who's my <laughs> nidoran male and he's level 11 Ooh. i have twinnings my beedrill he's level 12 like the t like the t i have frink the butterfree and he is also level 12. And he was the one who carried me through the entire <laughs> gym. <laughs> uh, I have Sparta, the Spiro, who is also level 12. And finally, I have Cinderace, the Charmander, who is also level 12. Nice. Very even. Very even. Across the board. I yep. like it. 10, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12. I was planning 
on making them all kind of the same level, but then I got kind of fed up with my uh, birds and yeah. my bunnies. I mm-hmm. was like, oh, I don't really care about you guys right now. That's fair. That's fair. That is it for that section, the Pokemon Center check-in. Good check-in. What we'll be doing in later episodes is we'll be talking about how our teams switch up or any new developments happening on our current Pokemon, like new evolutions or new moves that we're excited about, that sort of thing. Uh, But we're going to move into another segment called Pokemon Academy, where I'm going to show Jaylee the silhouette of a Pokemon, and you're going to tell me which Pokemon it is. Don't worry, this one is really easy. I've made the stipulation for this generation that they are always going to be part of the section that we just played. Are you ready? No, I was actually hoping you'd forget about this part, but (laughs) okay, this is going to prove to you and anybody listening to this how much I don't know Pokemon. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to bring up the photo. Oh no. Here it is. That's not fair. Uh, No, it's totally fair. No, because I don't know which one it is. Oh, oh, I see. Um, Unless they look the same. No, they look a little different. Okay, I'm going to... It's one of the bunnies, but it's the one that I've been messing up the name this whole time. Do I lose points if I get the name wrong? I, uh, If you would like, I can give you hints. No, because I know what it hint is. One per picture. How's that? Because I have two pictures. No, oh, there's two? There's two pictures. That's not fair. Well, there's the silhouette, and then there's the fully colored in. Like, the, the just the image. No, because I know this is one of the bunnies. Yep. But is it Buttercup or Bun Bun? Um, hold on. Cause so it's a... Oh, what was I saying earlier? I was saying it wrong earlier. So it's a no, Nido, it right. Nidoran? Nidoran, yeah. Okay, Nidoran. I need to know. Cause, because one of them is really cute and has their head like kind of like down and tucked in. But this is the one whose nose is up and it looks kind of... I'm going to say male. I'm going to say female because you just gave me your look. <laughs> Nidoran female. This is Nidoran female. Yes. Why is it... Uh, that's... You, you just showed me the colored in picture, <laughs> I showed, and I showed you it's the not as and you are cute not as I liking it. I thought. I, it's it's calling out. Yes, or, we'll say that. It looks so happy. I just want to like you put like a little that. pizza emoji in its mouth. <laughs> we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. That's going to be like our profile like... picture on everything. Is a Nidoran <laughs> with a pizza in its mouth? Oh, that would be really cute. It has to happen now. I'll make that. We have to call. That's what sh- that's what our viewers should be. The pizza rans or something pizza like rans. that. Pizza rans, cute. Neato pizzas. I don't know. Something. <laughs> we'll, we'll be- Neato pies. He just looks like he wants to chomp on something. Neato pies are cute. Neato pie. Yeah. That's cute. We'll we'll work it. <laughs> we'll work it. <laughs> All right, and now I have trivia. Oh gosh. Who's that Pokemon? Uh, you, you're not gonna have to guess. I'm just gonna tell you. Oh, I don't have to guess. No, anything. you don't have to guess. I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to tell you trivia stop. about Nidoran. Sweating. So Nidoran evolves at level 16 into Nidorina, after which it oddly loses its ability to breed. In later games, in this generation, there actually is no breeding. Ex pardon me. It's not something that's available. What? And here's the other weird thing about it losing its ability to breed. It is the only Pokemon that does this. I thought it was a PG podcast. It's the only Pokemon. That loses its ability to breed after evolving. Isn't that weird? Hmm. Eggs from Nidoran female can either hatch into Nidoran males or Nidoran females. Pokemon lay eggs? Pokemon lay... Well, actually, technically, no one's ever seen a Pokemon lay an egg. So it can't be guaranteed that Pokemon lay eggs. They just know that if you leave two Pokemon together for an extended period of time, an egg will be found... (laughs) Oh, boy. Actually, that's really funny because that was... uh, I'm playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond right now on the Switch. And that uh, I just went by the daycare and someone told me that exact bit of trivia. (laughs) (laughs) Just last night, in fact, while I was playing Brilliant Diamond, someone said to me that it hasn't... No one's ever seen a Pokemon lay an egg. They just know that if you leave two Pokemon together who are compatible, sometimes eggs will be found. Weird. In the Pokemon Adventures manga, green, which is a third character from this generation, so there's red, which is our character, blue, which is the rival character, and green, 
or sometimes known as Leaf, who is the female character in the remakes, Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, so Green had a Nidoran whose name, a Nidoran female whose name was Nido. Uh, most Pokedex entries for Nidoran talk about how small it is and how poisonous it is. They seem to use the words poison, toxins, and venom interchangeably, even though those words do not mean the same thing. When gender was introduced into the games in Generation 2, the Nidos remained separate Pokemon species. In fact, they do not show their gender in the stat screen of Generation 2 if they are not given a nickname. Weird. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Okay. If they have the just the name that's Nidoran female, it will not tell you. It'll say that the gender is unspecified. Okay, but gender isn't specified for any other Pokemon, so why these ones? Just in Generation 1. In Generation 2 onward, gender is specified. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Except in certain instances, like legendaries don't have gender, and neither do certain Pokemon, like, unknown. Strange. Okay. Yeah. But cool. we'll, we'll get to that in Generation 2. <laughs> Its shiny form makes it pink with green ears, so it looks more like its male counterpart, and vice versa. The male shiny makes Aww. it look... It, it has blue with purple ears, so it looks like Nidoran female. Cute. Yeah. And that's all I have for trivia on Nidoran female. Love it. We're going to take another quick little break, and we will be back with our closing remarks. Okay, and we're back from our break. So in the next episode, we're going to be going through the next bit of the adventure to Misty, the water gym in Cerulean City. Cerulean Town? Cerulean City. Cerulean City sounds right. <laughs> uh, so she is the water gym leader in Cerulean City. We will be going through Mount Moon to get to them from Pewter. Mount Moon is happening already? Mount Moon is happening already. Mount oh. Moon is the next area. Oh, I learned about Mount Moon in the museum. You, know, you went to the museum? I did. And how was, how was that? It was boring. <laughs> I learned about Mount Moon and some rocks and Team Rocket. Oh, yeah? Yeah, boring stuff. Anyway. That's that's next. very exciting. We do have to visit the museum one more time after uh, beating Rock. They took my money. Uh, well, th this time they won't take your money. Okay, because So what I'm you're going to do is we're going to go in the back door because Whoa. we're going to get a special item that will come into play much, much later in the game. PG podcast. PG? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I'm sorry, Burster <laughs> Bubble. <laughs> no, not PG with me on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, we're going back to the museum and Mount Moon. Back to the museum and Mount Moon. Okay. Mount Moon next. <laughs> okay, everybody. Well, thank you. And the quote that I'm going to leave you with today is a quote from Grimsley, who is a dark trainer uh, in a later generation. And he says, It's more important to master the cards you're holding than to complain about the ones your opponent was dealt. And I think that's pretty powerful. That's thought-provoking. <laughs> yes. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. We hope you have a great week. And we will see you next week. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Oh, my God. They're not watching. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I hope not. Anyway, we might have to close the blinds. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs>